Have you ever thought about adopting or fostering a pet in need? Well, now is a good time because the Hawaiian Humane Society can use your help. Joining us with everything we need to know, we welcome Susie Tam, Communications and Community Events Manager at the Hawaiian Humane Society. Good morning, Susie. Good morning. Thank you for joining us and waking up early with these guys. Just yep. tell me, uh, what's their names real quick? <laughs> this is Luke and Leah. They're from Luke the same Leia. litter, so they're not available for adoption yet. They're actually looking for a foster home because oh. they're too young to be adopted. Yeah, so this is so... You guys need some help because uh, for this, so just tell me uh, exactly what Yeah, so last week we had a foster care orientation, and we really appreciate the community members who came out to open their home for those who are too ill, too injured, or too young to be adopted. But we really, really need your help, and we need so many more foster care volunteers. Yes, uh, that's so such an awesome, uh, just everything. Um, so <laughs> tell me about this. I got Luke over here just being super cute. So tell me, um, what kind of animals? These are uh, these need to be fostered as well yeah. as other animals? Yeah, so we foster all, all kinds of animals. Animals, you know, guinea pigs, dogs, um, and cats, but we really need help with kittens right now. We have got over 30 kittens who are either too young, like these two guys, or have um, a type of illness, like they, we have a lot with ringworm and lice right now, and we really need some people to open up their homes to help them get, you know, get better. Oh, so how, how long do these animals uh, remain uh, in foster care? <laughs> well, it really depends. These guys will likely, um, people, uh, cats who are underweight, stay about for four to six weeks, uh, depending on how their weight progresses. If the cats have ringworm, then it does take a little more extensive care. They need twice weekly lime dips um, to get rid of that ringworm. They need some oral medications and checkups every couple of weeks. Um, for lice, you know, they do need uh, to be combed daily. So it really depends on how long it takes for them to be rid of their illness. But, you know, it can take weeks for them to, uh, to, for them to stay in your foster home. Uh, so, so people that want to come in and uh, adopt or foster these animals, what do they have to do? Uh, the best thing to do if you want to become a foster care volunteer is head over to our website, hawaiianhumane.org. We do have a foster care orientation on Saturday, May 18th at 8 a.m. So you want to go ahead and uh, attend that orientation, then fit up, fill out an application. If you're interested right then and there, you'll be able to take an animal home. Awesome. Such an awesome movement. And look at these guys, <laughs> Luke and Leia in the Star Wars generation. How could you not want to foster them? Oh, they're pretty cute. These? So, yes, happening uh, May 18th? May 18th at the Hawaiian Humane Society. For more information on foster care, just visit our website at hawaiianhumane.org. Awesome. Thank you, Luke and Leia, as well as Susie Tam and the Hawaiian Humane Society. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Awesome.